somebody help me. <laughs> I can't blow this up myself. What am I going to do? Um, we've got an air compressor that is a really cool air compressor. Now, if you're like me, I was actually just on vacation this last weekend, and you get that message on your tire gauge. Oh, the tires are low. What do you do? You got to drive all the way. And boy, if you're in Florida, you can go miles and miles and miles and miles before you can find a gas station where you can pull over and hope they've got an air compressor. Or you can get this Airhawk Pro cordless air compressor. Keep it in your car. It's always charged. You will never have a flat. It's $49.95. Now, this is the Pro because it actually you can actually set it to the correct PSI for your tire and it will fill it up and, and just until that PSI, the recommended PSI, and then it will stop. Because trust me, you can look at a ball and sort of gauge when it's about right, you can feel it, but you certainly can't do that with your tires. That's why you need the Pro. That's why you need the Airhawk. Battery operated, rechargeable. Lou Caputo is here to show us how easy it is to blow everything up. So Lou's gonna blow this up by <laughs> mouth, and I'm gonna use the air compressor. I was gonna say, you think you got a problem trying to blow this up? Imagine trying to blow this bad boy up, okay? Oh my goodness. But you know what, there's a lot of folks this time of year going to the beach, going to the pool with the kids, and all that and the first thing you do is whip out all these different inflatables and go mommy mommy daddy daddy help me with this uh, and you know what's going to happen you're going to be lightheaded you're going to be sitting and especially if you're all the way out by the water what you can't just drag a compressor from your car down no, there and plug it in not. no that's where the air hawk comes in now come on over here i want to show you everything you're going to get because i'm so happy that when you introduced this you called it a compressor and oh, I, did and I, I, I'm no, that was correct. Oh, it is? Okay. Yeah. No, and here's why. Because people, some people look at something like this small and they go, oh, it's an inflator. It's not an inflator. Oh, no. Inflator is that, that wimpy little fan that you get with like an inflatable mattress, okay? Right. This is a real compressor. It actually has a piston inside that takes the ambient air from around it, okay, that ambient pressure, and then puts it under pressure, okay? So when it goes into your tires, when it goes into anything, it's under a lot of pressure. Now, you're getting a complete kit here. So before I do anything, I want to show you what you're going to get because it's impressive, all right? You're getting the air hawk. It's Itself, okay, and that mm -hmm. has that digital uh, pressure gauge as you mentioned in it. You're getting the that's two key. tips you see right here, and I'll show you a little bit more about those in a moment. You're getting the lithium ion battery that's in the bottom of this. You're getting a recharger. You're also getting this little guy right here that allows you to plug it into your lighter if you need to, okay? Cool. And you're getting a carrying case. But let me show you how it works, okay? okay. I'm going to go to the front over here, right. and I have a kid's bicycle because for a lot of folks out there, this time of year, this is what you're doing, sure. okay? You know, everybody wants to go on bike rides. You want to do all that stuff. Now, this tire is flat. Look, look at this. This is dead flat. I can put my finger all the way down yeah. to the rim on this guy, okay? So I've already preset. On the back of this right there, you can see there. When I turn it on, it turns blue. That is actually the pressure gauge right there. The plus and minus buttons allow you to preset the pressure of whatever you're going to fill. So if I know what the pressure is on this, I'm going to squeeze the trigger on the front, and it's going to start inflating the tire. Now, the cool thing is, I don't have to sit there. You're hands-free. I'm hands-free. I could be packing lunch. I could be getting waters. I could do whatever, you know, packing the car. I don't have to sit there and babysit this tire until yeah. it's filled. And the minute that it reaches the pressure that I've preset inside of it, it's going to stop. Boom. Oh. Just like that. Full. Tire's done. That's cool. Next. <laughs> wow. So easy? there's not only, I mean, you're not stomping on the, on the no. air. No pumps, no, no, no foot pumps, nothing. nothing like that. And no. it knows the exact right pressure. Well, because I told I've done it. the pumps before after, after you're exhausted you're you know, guessing. and hot. Well, yeah. I'm guessing. And then my yeah. husband comes and he's like, this is too much air or this is not enough air. Or, right. This, you know exactly it's right every the time. right. Yeah. Well, and I want to show you on the back of this now. I'm going to give you the grand tour of the actual device itself, okay? So here's what it's going to look like when you're using it. It's all self-contained. Everything's right on board here, okay? The lithium-ion battery fits on the bottom just like that. just snaps into place, okay? There's an on-off switch on the back here. If I press that, you're going to see that blue light comes on right back there. That's the actual pressure gauge itself, and I can hit these plus or minus buttons to adjust that pressure to wherever I want, okay? Huh. All of your attachments, and by the way, when it turns on, it has an LED light built into the front of it right there. See that? Nice bright LED. So if you're filling a tire in the dark, sure. you're going to be able to see it. That's awesome. Um, we also have right here on the base, you have got your little inflator tip right there. You've got one for your footballs, basketballs, and that sort of thing. And then you've got another one that you can use for air mattresses and all of that. Now, if you're doing a car tire or you're doing um, a bike tire or something like that, this hose attaches on the front right here. And actually, all the attachments go on this. You screw that onto the front end, just like that. 
okay? And then you have this nice little extension hose right here so you can set your air hawk on the ground while you're filling up a tire or whatever. I'm gonna do a couple of these balls that are sitting here on the table, and all I'm gonna do is just put the inflator tip right on the end. Notice everything screws on, why? Because it's a real compressor. Everything's under pressure when I do this. I'm gonna come back here to this little tiny soccer ball or volleyball, and I'm gonna, let's see, turn it back on again. Squeeze the trigger right here. There's a nice little red trigger. You just squeeze that trigger. And look how fast that filled Whoa. up in just a couple seconds. And that was easy because that's kind of small. But I want you to think if you're a soccer mom, a soccer dad, okay, and you're going to practices with the kids and you've got one of those mesh bags full of a dozen mm -hmm. balls that have to be inflated, okay? Look at that. That quick we filled that up. I mean, it's that easy to do. Yeah. yeah. It's a really neat little tool. And the nice thing about this is that it's cordless. I can take this with me anywhere, okay, and use this. And I don't need to worry about the fact that I'm too far from my car. Right. You know what I mean? Or there's no plug for me to put this in, like yeah. in your house. Right. That kind of thing. <laughs> True. Well, speaking of, this will this will not only inflate your tires, which usually you need that big air compressor that yep. you've got in your garage, and you've, you're certainly not taking it with you. Then you're kind of at the mercy of whenever you find a gas station if you run out of... Uh, pressure in your tires but this will not only do your tires it does your bike tires yep. it does it has the special nozzles to do the the balls and the yep. air mattresses and the air inflatables mattresses. for never the anymore those air mattress pumps that they you know they sell you separately yeah. that can be 49 dollars just for that's that that's where they're saving the money exactly <laughs> that's Guys, exactly where they're doing well, to blow those things up what was the last time you went to go get your tires filled at a gas station how much did you pay for air yeah and air's free Okay, sure. just a little hint. Meaning quarters, right? Where you're like, I don't care to catch quarters around with yeah. things. That's no, right. It's no, $1. fifty two dollars Yeah, and then you have to wait, and then sometimes it doesn't work. It doesn't have the right nozzle. Right. Now you are always protected and taken care of, and it's $12.49 to get it home. Now, look at this beast right here, okay? You look at this thing, and you think, oh, it's it's just a little, uh, you know, it's a little tiny ring for the pool. It's not. It's like a basketball oh. net that goes in the pool. It's actually part of a whole game. But to fill this up, you'd be dizzy. There you, oh, good shot. Oh, yeah. You'd be dizzy at this point if this was yeah. something you were trying to do. Now, you want to see a torture test? Yeah. Come on down here. I've got a wheelbarrow sitting down here. You're not putting me through the torture no, test, No, we're not right? putting you okay, in the wheelbarrow. But you are going to sit in the wheelbarrow. No, I'm kidding. You're not. <laughs> All right. Come on. Come on over here. So I've got this metal wheelbarrow. Okay, that's right. real steel. The tire is dead flat on the bottom. The right. Now, right, the okay. thing is, inside of this, I've got 75 pounds worth of river rock sitting in here, okay? So there's a, the weight of the rock, the weight of the wheelbarrow. We're going to fill this up. And I know what the pressure of this tire is already. I preset it in the air hawk, okay? So all I'm going to do is just pull the trigger right here. And think about this. If you're in your backyard working, you want to have to load this thing into the trunk of the car oh my and drive gosh. it to a gas station. Watch how the air hawk is going to lift up the river rock, the wheelbarrow, fill the tire, see what it's doing, and see how quickly it's doing it? That was a dead flat tire. Right? It's actually lifting the air hawk off the ground, too. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> the whole thing's going up in the air now. But see, that's the power of the air hawk. And when it's done, when it reaches the pressure that we pre-assigned, it stops. It stops. Just like that, it stops all by itself. And that's what's so neat about this is there's no guesswork involved. It's not like when you go to the gas station, those pumps never work, okay? Right. You don't have to carry one of these things around with you, okay? This is mine, okay? And I used to carry this in my car, uh, car with me everywhere I went. Tell and you how much you know pressure's what? in there. Yeah, but here's the thing. I'm gonna pull this out just so you can see. Look how tiny those numbers are. Maybe 10 years ago, I could read that, okay? Uh, uh, not so much now, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so sure. it's really hard. I'd rather do it with the... And also, these things aren't 100% accurate, so I'm like, is it 45, 50 pounds? I can't tell. With the Airhawk, there's no guesswork. It does it automatically, and everything comes in this little case. That's cool. Isn't that neat? So you Talk just about carry. an emergency kit for your car. Yeah. I mean, because then you can keep it in your car, and because it's rechargeable, and you can recharge it while you're in the car, right. you'll never be with a flat tire. But then also, when you go to the beach, you've got you, you've got all of your inflatables there, and when you need to blow up the air mattress, you just grab it out of your car and right. bring it in the house. This is an amazing solution. Today, it's $10 off. It's only $12.49 to get it home on Flex. Trust me, anybody, any house really needs to have one of these for sure um, but if you want to save an additional forty dollars off you can apply for an hsn card that'll make this nine dollars and 95 cents because you'll get forty dollars off your very first purchase with your hsn card so apply for one right now online or on the phone you know right away if you're approved and then get this for nine dollars and 95 cents <laughs> <laughs> everyone's like what's you, everyone's like, what is doing? i'm just doing yeah. listen this is this is the old-fashioned air pump 
Doesn't sound powerful, does it? Doesn't sound like it's gonna fill a car tire. Guess what? It's not. And you're gonna be standing there getting a serious workout, pumping this thing up and down, trying to fill anything. This is not a great solution. So we came up with foot pumps after that. Guess what? Another workout that you probably don't really want when you're at the beach, okay? No. Nobody needs that. A lot of people carry these things in their cars. And there's a misconception about these. It's a can of air, it is, but it has something in it as well to stop a hole in your tire. Right. You're not supposed to use it unless you have a hole in your tire. So if that little light in your car, your car comes on and says that you got low tire pressure, this is not a solution, okay? Now for me, I'm the kind of guy that I have one of these big bad boys down here. We call this a, a pancake compressor, okay? Oh. It's great if you've got pneumatic tools at home or that sort of thing, but, and it, you know, it will fill your tires, but here's the thing. First of all, it's kind of big. It's a little Kinda. clunky. I'm not carrying it in my car with me, and it's got to be plugged in to a yeah. for reals outlet. Like, you got to have this, like, plugged into a household outlet. Yeah. So that's not a great solution. No. If you're on the side of the road with low, pre low uh, tire pressure, you're not plugging this in This is not anywhere. the thing you want to do. That's no. why the Airhawk is so convenient, because I've got that rechargeable lithium-ion battery in the back of this. I've got the extension cable for this. Let's say that, you know, for some reason, I just, you know, run my battery down. I can still plug it into the outlet in my car, into my power port, if I want to. Speaking of which, let's go over to the Jeep over here, because I want to show you how we can fill a tire how quickly now usually okay when you get that warning light in your car it's only down about maybe five pounds at the most maybe you know somewhere maybe seven if you've really let it go so you can set the pressure on this you don't have to go to the gas station you don't have to carry quarters with you, you don't have to do any of that all what we're going to do is we've already got the pressure set it's already on i'm going to pull the trigger okay and i think it's about five pounds down now i'm going to walk away we're going to leave that there and what you're going to see is when it's done it's going to stop all on its own so in the morning if you get in your vehicle and you're like, oh great, I got low tire pressure. You don't have to sit there on a day like this where it's super humid outside right. and babysit it. You can go back in the air conditioning and wait or sit in your vehicle and wait while the engine's running and just let it sure. fill it by itself and it'll get to the exact pressure. And here's the thing, if you're driving around with low tire pressure, mm -hmm. okay, you're gonna get worse mileage. Yep. You're gonna wear your tires out faster and it's not safe because they're not gripping the road the way that you want them to, okay? Yeah. You need to have that proper pressure in there. For me, the, the mileage thing alone is a huge oh, deal. huge. I mean, I wanna get the most mileage I can. I want the most miles out of every gallon of gas I'm paying for. And that's what's gonna happen if you fill those tires. Absolutely, so lightweight. That means that it's really done. easy to take with you. Look, it done. knows when it's done. Yeah. To me too, now when we had to fill up with the tires just this last weekend and we were sitting there and it was hard Hot and um, it could have been raining, it could have been snowing. You know oh, yeah. your tires never go flat at a convenient time. Is there ever a convenient time? You don't ever come out into your garage and have your tires low. It's like they were in the parking lot and somebody let the tires out like it was with us, the hotel parking lot. We came out and we were like, oh great, that's really nice. Um, <laughs> welcome to <laughs> welcome to the town. Um, <laughs> but this would have been that perfect solution and you, we could have set that and forgotten it. We could have gone back inside and let it fill up, but you saw how fast that was, how lightweight this is this is a must-have in any emergency kit I, you know what I know you have an extra tire in your car I know you have that tire kit that you hope you never ever have to use this is one you will use this more than you use an additional tire and yet we all have those we all have the spare tire everybody's in our car, got a spare right? tire everybody does everybody needs to have the air compressor and at this price everybody can it's $12.49 completely rechargeable lightweight and smart, and it's not just there to, to, uh, to repressurize your tires. It's there to fill up anything that you need, any of the tires, any of the beach balls and you know, inflatables as well. No, and that's the big deal about this. It's not a one-trick pony. Right. Anything that needs air, you can use this on. Now, what I'm trying to do here is we got an 11 and a half foot cord. I want to show you how Ooh. long this is because you do have the rechargeable lithium-ion battery, but if that battery dies, okay, take that, and kind of, I'm going to so walk. this is plugged into your car. Yeah. I mean, I want you to see how far apart we can go. Just because this thing. Yeah. Can go, we could be 11 and a half a feet away. So yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So if you've got a really big, really long vehicle, you don't need to worry yeah. that, you know, I, oh, my battery went dead. I'm going to, I'll tell you a quick story. My wife and I recently went on a trip uh, where we towed my boat up and we went someplace and went scalloping for a week. Okay. And uh, I found out on the trip that one of my tires on my truck has a slow leak. The, and and uh, we, the place the where we were staying, out. it was a 35-minute drive to a gas <gasps> station. 
35 minutes, and I was towing a boat, okay? So rather than go through that nightmare, you yeah. know, if every day, every day and a half, I'd get out there and take my air hawk, carry it with me everywhere I go, and just put that air back in the tire until I could figure out what nail got into that tire, which, P.S., this was two weeks ago. I still haven't done that, but I'm gonna. I'm <laughs> gonna take a look at it. You know what it is? Because I have the air hawk. I know that yeah. I can just put that in there. And I'm telling you, I got to know that little warning light in my truck very intimately because yes. it was yeah. coming on every couple air of days. Air hawk time. It should air just, like, ding. It should just go, air hawk. Yeah. Um, but this <laughs> is... This is that peace of mind. That it really is. If you're on a trip or if you're out or if, you know, you or your wife or anybody have a car and you're not there to fill up the tire pressure, that's one of the things, it's just one of those things I hate doing. I'll fill up the car with gas, but if it's got low tire pressure, I might just drive home rather than go into the gas station and having yeah. to do it. But this is that amazing solution. My goodness, if you're a coach or you've got a coach in your life, oh my you've got gosh. all the basketballs or all the soccer balls yep. or um, anything. I almost said baseball. Look yeah, at that. that shows uh, there you go. There you go. Um, that need to be filled up. This is that amazing solution. Yeah, and you're it is. never without that all critical, important air. And look how lightweight it is. I can't believe how easy this is to use. And everything is compact. Everything fits right on the body of the unit itself. So you are never going to lose any parts. And I'm going to tell you right now, if they weren't, I would have lost all of them by now because I'm that guy. I think that every power tool should have that feature. This is brilliant that they're I all love it. on board. Yeah, everything's right on board with it. And that's a nice thing, too, is that what I'm holding in my hand right here is all you need yeah. to fill your tires, to do your air mattresses, your trailers, everything that you want that has air in it. Incredible. All yep. right, get your tire fixed. Um, <laughs> thanks, Lou. You'll be back at noon. Yep. All right, thanks a lot. Thank you. And